Right, so we're here at Home Perth, Home Perth Picture Drum, try and get my words out. The blinders, how right. are we feeling? Home Drum Picture Perth. That's the one. <laughs> I'm glad you could say that because I couldn't. Good, yeah, <laughs> look good. Looking oh, yeah. forward to this for ages, yeah. So, first night of the tour, isn't it, tonight? It is, yeah. What are we expecting? Uh, pretty tame, to be honest, yeah. Everyone's not hungover and everyone's pretty fresh, so it'd be a good one, actually. Um, uh, there'll be no, no antics until after the show. <laughs> well, I was just going to say, until what time? Ah, yeah, no, looking forward to it. It's, uh, uh, not played for a while. <laughs> yeah. So, going back to the beginning, how did you all meet each other and where did it start? School. Go on, Charlie. Yeah, I knew Thomas from football from when we were the big. Um, and then all really met again at school, uh, played a few school bands. Me and Tom went sort of six home together and enlisted Matt. Tom nagged him for a few months and sort of came together and yeah, and that was the, the, birth, from there. the birth of uh, the blinders. The blinders, as we know it. And literally, I think in this past year as well, you've just sort of exploded over the scene, haven't you? It's been like a good year for us really, it's been like a, it's been a busy year, a couple of, a couple of singles I'm sort of, yeah, over this past, past year or so. Um, so yeah, it's just been kind of a, a, like a year of touring really, and mm. festivals. a couple of touring, fest oh, it's like the festival season, just sort of finished now, so it's, uh, no, it was a, a positive experience. But probably up until now we didn't really believe in the scene, but um, these past like maybe few months, there's been a real sort of resurgence of uh, bands you know, coming together and just digging it. Um, Noah Ashes, Cabbage, um, Avalanche Party, uh, Strange Bones, we can't wait to see them again. We've not seen them since summer. Uh, summer's almost gone, so yeah. It's, it's Is it end of summer yet? Yeah? Pretty much, yeah. Have we even had a summer? Have we even had a summer? <laughs> we had a good summer though, didn't we? We had a really good yeah, fucking summer. Was, yeah. We had a good crack at it. Had a good crack at it. Uh, Let, we'll bar the weather, shall we? <laughs> Now, what would you say makes you different from other people that are out there at the minute? I think where we get our influences from and draw and we, we, we don't revolve our influences around music, it's more around um, <clears throat> friends of mine, people we meet, um, literature, um, such an unorthodox way to uh, derive your influence from, put that into a band and music and it's it's inevitably going to create a different sound, a different um, uh, a different approach to this whole thing. Definitely, because I feel like when I listen to some of your stuff and when I see you live, it's almost like you're telling a story about exactly what's going the, on. The nature the of it is very narrative. Yeah. We take a lot of that from Nick Cave. Um, Charlie's responsible for that, got us all into Nick Cave's style of writing. And, well, uh, my dad thinks you look like him. So. I get that <laughs> yeah, we, we does get that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, we're, Nick, we're, Nick Graves, we Nick Graves, yeah. He's the same ego. We're um, twin brother. What are you gonna do about that? Are you, are you changing the look up? Because about two months ago you wanted to change it, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. I don't know. Just one of them black suits. I can't like the suit, so it's. And I took the top of the hair off. It's probably not gonna grow back, so. <laughs> it's, it's one of them, you know. I'm kind of stuck in it. Getting a bit thin on the top. Yeah. Oh, you have to do that, didn't you? Yeah. So. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm just trying to do the Nick Cave look. Oh, shit. Sorry. Nick Cave look. Now, if you could take anyone dead alive in the world John down to your local for a pint and just pick the brains, who would you take? John Lennon. Uh, Why? Just the most beautiful mind, um, but also has such a twisted side to him that it, it'd be nice to crack open, you know. The guy was a fucking racist and misogynist. Charles Manson, that'd be good. Charles Manson, what a great one. What you chose? Oh. Nick Cave. <laughs> <laughs> Sat yeah. talking to a mirror. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People would be like, he's out with his son or something. Yeah. Most of the people like Hitchens would be quite an interesting person mm. to sit down and have a mm. conversation mm. with. Yeah. Um, all well, I suppose all well would be a yeah. wonderful person. The it? original on the road. Yeah. Down so and out, yeah, Paris and London, baby. Yeah. Full of conversation with. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a pain. <laughs> See, Johnny got that. <laughs> John. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Stay away from the camera. Why did Davis go up? He's famous. He was famous before us. He was famous before us. Don't mind him colour in the ash girls. Yeah. Oh, dear. Uh, 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 what about your, your spot? 
Uh, Charles Manson. Charles Manson. Yeah. That'd be really cool. It would be very cool. Sit in a lock in a pub and just get drunk. Yeah, what a beautiful mind, but uh, again, a twisted soul, man, yeah. There's a lot of that about these days. Well, yeah, well. What's wrong with music? Music. <laughs> yeah, his music's great. Music's great, yeah. Now, going back, obviously, you're on tour now with Cabbage. Now, February, you've got a massive, massive tour lineup. Massive! Up. It is huge. How excited are you for that to come about? Yeah, yeah really excited. It's all about the before we turn up. <laughs> <laughs> We've been wanting to do that for ages. Um, and that's like the perfect time to do it. It finally comes to a head. Um, we've got. It's the perfect, perfect time for it, isn't it? Yeah, we've got quite a lot in store, haven't we? Yeah. For um, the beginning of next year, so keep an eye out. That's going to be our, our peak, if you like. Yeah. Well, it's a full month, isn't it, really, it's that you're doing? Full month yeah. touring, yeah. It's the 3rd to the 24th. Is there any places on there that stand out for you that you just can't wait to go and smash there? Um, I can't wait to play actually. King Tots the first day. Yeah, yeah, King Tots. Yeah, man. Glasgow. Uh, we always get quite a good reception. Yeah. It'd be nice to do a nice good Brighton gig. Um, so and actually so going back home to Doncaster at yeah. some point. Yeah, we have I mean, plans to go back to Doncaster, maybe around February as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's super the start of Christmas, no doubt. Ah, uh, yeah. Get the jingle balls out, that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Bit of tinsel. Bit of tinsel. Bit of tinsel. Bit of tinsel. Um, well, the beauty of Doncaster is we can just play as long as we want and people still dig it, you know. Well, the last gig that you did there, it was absolutely yeah, bouncing it was, from it the rafters, yeah. and it, with it being midweek as well, it was. Yeah. Love yeah, Don Cuss. Yeah. Yeah. But I just think at the minute you've got this complete awe about you that people are just like, it's so much word of mouth going around as well, going, have you seen the blinders yet? Have you seen Something the blinders is yet? Happening here, but, but you don't, don't know what it is, do you, Mr. Jones? Yeah. And that's how it goes. Mm. That's how it goes. <laughs> I hope you have an amazing night tonight mm. and I hope you enjoy the rest of your tour with Cabbage. Thank you yeah. Much. Good luck for everything you've got coming thank up. You, thank you, Yeah, it's going to be you. great. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. All right. Take your fucking research with you. <laughs> <laughs>